Hi everybody, I'm Stefan for cgtelspools.com and in today's quick tip we are going to take a look at a dual monitor uh, workspace setup for Cinema 4D and as you can see this is the default standard layout right here and on one monitor uh, it looks like so and basically you can switch to other uh, workspaces for example like animation and so on but as you can see it's uh, still too small and uh, it will be hard to animate you have to move panels around and uh, tweak things and uh, this takes a lot of time and that's why uh, having a dual monitor setup uh, will help you a lot so I'm going to include my uh, workspace uh, preset uh, file uh, in the project files for the quick tip and uh, we I'm going to explain how to set up the workspace not exactly how to uh, move the panels around because this is uh, pretty basic and easy uh, but explain um, what are the advantages and uh, show you uh, the workspace I came up with so let me switch to my uh, dual monitors setup and let me resize the cinema as you can see I'm going to show you a only one monitor at a time so on the first monitor I have this uh, it's obviously a bit bigger because I'm using a 24 inch monitors and this is a 720p resolution so uh, everything is scaled down a bit but as you can see I have all my deformers right here so it uh, is uh, way more faster for me to see if I need a deformer for example I can just click and have the deformer in my scene instead of uh, going here uh, looking for a deformer and uh, so on and uh, the good part is that I, uh, I have the names of the deformers because I have chosen to have a bigger icons here and on the bottom I have the timeline and uh, I can use it uh, while I animate also you can use the shortcut control plus tab to switch to full screen for uh, some of the panels for example if you want the timeline to to see it on the on full screen you can uh, just uh, put the mouse uh, here and just uh, hit control plus tab and uh, this is going to switch the panel to full screen view and it will be a lot easier for you to work and as you can see I have some selection tools right here which help me in my work and uh, everything else is pretty standard here on this monitor now let me uh, swipe the program here and as you can see that's uh, what I have on my second monitor you can see that uh, this is my uh, scene tree here and uh, it's a, a lot uh, bigger and I, ha I can have a lot more layers before I need to start scrolling around in order to find the layers and objects I'm looking for and as you can see I have the MoGraph menu here all the uh, corners and uh, MoGraph objects as well as all the effectors here and again uh, you don't see all of them because I'm recording on a 720p resolution but at full size uh, it's perfect also I have some uh, soft body and rigid body tags here and uh, in general dynamic tab tags uh, because I use them in some of my projects and I found that uh, this way it will be easier for me to work also I have an icon for my CS tools here and for more information about CS tools uh, you can check the um, Grayscale Gorilla website 
and uh, there you can find more tutorials and uh, see how to install them and here is the attributes uh, panel which I use for example if I have a corner and uh, again it's uh, on a smaller resolution but at full size I don't need to scroll down to see all of my properties and uh, this is very easy and uh, it saves a lot of time doing it that way so this is uh, my attributes panel and here is my shader panel and again I, I can have uh, multiple shaders here and a lot of materials and I don't need to scroll down to see all of them and uh, it is uh, way more easier for me to to see them and uh, on this side here I have the content browser which I use a lot as you can see because I use the Grayscale Gorilla uh, uh, HDRI Studio and uh, it helps a lot because for example if I have the HDRI Studio here I can open some of the um, HDRIs and just drag and drop it here and as you can see it's uh, super fast so that's my workspace and uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that on my first monitor here uh, the preview panel is uh, way more larger and it's easier for me to see models for example if I'm doing a modeling uh, job on a something uh, different uh, it's uh, easier for me to see everything and uh, basically that's a basic guide on how to set up uh, your workspace obviously uh, this is the, um, something uh, that depends on the type of work you're doing and it's uh, something personal for example if you're doing more a uh, modeling work you can have some modeling tools here and there and uh, for example here you can have all your modeling tools instead of all of the deformers uh, but in my case uh, I just use uh, models that uh, other people model for example uh, friends that I'm working with and stuff like that so they send me the models into OBJ format and after that I'm uh, finishing the scene and adding shaders and deformers and MoGraph stuff and so on so uh, that depends of the of your workflow and the type of work you're doing and um, that's it for example if you're doing a character modeling animation obviously you don't need uh, some of the MoGraph stuff and you need uh, more of the rigging tools and animation tools and stuff like that so it's a pretty personal thing uh, but in general that's a good way to start and it works for the most of the things that you can do in Cinema 4D for example some title animations and MoGraph stuff and abstract animations and so on so that's it for this quick tip uh, hope it helps uh, you get started with a dual monitor setup in Cinema 4D. Once again, I'm Stefan for cgtutspost.com and we'll see you next time.